we need to make this boycott work. Black Lives Matter did a great job last year. They went up into the shopping malls and they stopped a lot of stuff from going on, from buying, and a lot of people got arrested. And that means after you get arrested, they put bond on you. And most of us in black organizations, we ain't got no money to pay a bail bondsman. So I understand Mr. George Soros got a lot of us out. I just want to warn you. See, white folks are smart. And you haven't figured them out yet. Because this one over here is your enemy and this one over here is your friend. So you get confused. So the Quran, in my conclusion, says Satan said, Because you cause me to be disappointed, back to disappointment, you cause me to be, you found me to be erring. I'm going to lie and wait for them. And he comes at us from four different directions. Listen to the four directions. He goes in front of you and lies about you. He comes behind you to interpret you to those that you told the truth to. He comes from the left side as an outright enemy. Then he comes from the right side playing like he's your friend. So you can't win because you don't know who you're dealing with. So I'm going to tell you, if you know this is Satan, then don't worry about what direction he comes from. Know that he is who he is. And I don't give a damn how much friendship he offers. Don't you allow that to deceive you. We got to organize and I'm asking for those with organizational skills. Because this has to be well organized throughout the country. We're going to give you um, words, but I don't want you going up in the mall interfering with the people who want to shop. See, that's a prescription to go to jail. <laughs> But here's what I want us to do, like the messenger taught us. Let's go in the hood, door to door, block by block, knock on the door, ask for a few minutes of time. And we have words from Dr. King. You can put it right on your cell phone and say, would you mind hearing what uh, Dr. King said about distributing the pain. Here, you have a minute? Listen to this. Wow, I didn't know Dr. King said that. He said, listen to this. Dr. King talking about land. He said, this is why we have to take our money and be serious about how we spend it, where we spend it, to whom we give it. And in that way, 
This doesn't hurt nobody but the enemy. Keep your money in your pocket. And then at the end of the Christmas season, let's talk about how much money we saved. And then what we can do in unifying our dollars to start buying up land while we petition the government for at least a minimum of a hundred million acres.